Hi everybody, welcome back to Tam Predicts and this is another reading. So uh, let's see what, is, what are his or her feelings for you. Not gender specific, this could be for anybody or whatever your relationship. Uh, let's see what, uh, how are they feeling, your person, your special person, what do they want to say to you. Uh, I know what it is today is uh, the kind of thoughts that I was getting or the kind of messages that I was getting. It's kind of pretty much same. So I just want to start with saying your guys or the girl or whoever you're dealing with is changing for the better. Okay, and I see a transformation. I also see it will take time. It's not going to happen overnight. But yes, they realize they need to change and that change is coming. Okay, so don't push them asking them, uh, are you changing? Will it change? If you've asked them to, you know, are the feelings fine? Are the feelings back? I don't know what your situation is, but you it's like you wanted the feelings to come back or something closer to that. Uh, the feelings are going to be back pretty soon. So I'm just going to shuffle them. Let's see what are the messages. I'm also going to do the C cards. They're beautiful. Look at this and uh, what messages see i have feelings for you let's start with this only i have feelings for you they do feel for you i don't know what happened to the feelings in between your situation could be different all of you um, you know whatever the problem was i do not know but yes it could be different situations as it's a general reading but i definitely feel uh, their feelings are going to come back little by little uh, they're also realizing they have feelings for you they still have feelings for you or they were you know blowing hot and cold and they need to get their act right uh, they also feel that if they do not get their act right or if they do not change for good or if they do not change or give what you want uh, you are actually on the verge of walking away remember my last reading where I said uh, you've either walked away or you're walking away I don't remember the time frame right now because I do a lot of readings personal also so there are, time, there are a lot of time frames in my head but I definitely remember that I said either you'll walk away or stay because right now you've given them an ultimatum and I think you wanted them to change and uh, when you give them an ultimatum it was like oh god I mean it, it hits their ego how can you tell me to do that but somewhere when you detached or you went away or you uh, you know uh, you started being uh, you started being happy uh, doing things that you like so that's when they realize they have feelings for you and they do miss you I got the word elephant piece and I got the word memory maybe there are a lot of memories with you maybe one of you has an elephant memory has a very good memory maybe you keep everything documented where you met when you met all those things but definitely I get a good memory or they have good memories of you lots of memories of you and that keeps uh, coming back to them so it's very difficult for you now uh, for them to let you go maybe that's one of the things I also got an elephant piece maybe you bought an elephant piece or there's a uh, they bought you an elephant piece but there's something to do with an elephant piece uh, that you have at your home or otherwise you would have seen it or thought about it let's see what are the other messages my heart my heart's intention are fine so the heart's intentions are fine they do not want to hurt you they want to come back i i feel that the more they uh, the more they uh, push themselves to feel they cannot feel anything they are wanting to go with the flow uh, they will feel it i think they'll have feelings again like i said i do not know what situation it is um, either the feelings are less or you know you've been friend zoned again or there have been family problems and you know that's what's happened or they suddenly they were so busy with work that the feelings uh, were coming and going and they were also not sure about this relationship they got so busy with other things but i think uh, they are saying my heart intentions are fine it's not that i don't love you i don't like you or i don't want to be with you or i don't want to be committed it's just that things are not fine and i'll be back i'm getting that song again yesterday and i put it on my facebook also it's it's got hold of me i mean on in, it's just in my head it's called wait a minute uh, by willow and i think uh, i know why i've been hearing this song or i've been listening to the song again and again because there is there is a message in it it's wait it's like um, um sorry it's i said wait a oh, wait <laughs> it's wait a minute and uh, they want to wait uh, they want you to wait a minute you know listen to them or give them time and wait a minute is like uh, hold on you know do not do not rush or something i'm done a minute i don't know why i wrote wait a wait hold hold on is exactly very important here because they want you to hold on you know hold on and uh, they will come back or just hold on a little more patience i know that you've been really patient with them but they're saying a little more patience a little more that's what i hear yeah this we've done let's move on to the other one this is not the end so this is not an end uh, the end of your relationship okay and uh, if it's not ended if there is hope so i'm not giving you false hope guys if it's if you feel it's already ended and they've friend zoned you for long they have no feelings and they've said it very uh, you know very clearly very truthfully that you know i i do not, i will not have feelings for you again so i think take that 
as a I don't, whatever you want to take it as a red flag or a very true true answer from them and uh, do not, you cannot push somebody to have feelings again now guys i'm telling you this so give them time if they want to come back they will come back always have a deadline for you whenever i'm doing personal readings i always give a deadline uh, you know your individuals you will always i just give guidances you can do whatever you want because that's your free will i can only guide you but here i'm saying hold on only a little more if you've actually waited for so long it's like you've waited for an year or six months or maybe days and days and suddenly you're giving up when there is hope do not do that but definitely uh if it's been long enough and they've been very very um sure about that they do not have feelings for you they're not going to come back then i would say move on remember this that's a very important guidance okay you left your things in my home uh, let them be with me so you got some things uh, i mean you were staying with them it was a live-in or uh, there were some things that you gave them to use or otherwise uh, and you have a lot of uh, things at their home and it's like a memory and probably you ask them that give my things back you know in a fight like you say I take your things back and i want my things back so they do not want to give your things back they mean uh, something to them so i don't know if one of you said this but yes let it be they're saying i just want to keep it you know don't take this away from me this is what i get this is not the end we've done let's see let's move on to other messages okay two months feelings see a change so you're going to see a change in them okay i also get a sea of change s-e-a which is like huge change you know they are going to they're going to start with very small changes but uh, changes but they will move on to uh, you know changing the way they were or the feelings that they had for you but i get a two months uh, time frame remember that so you want to wait it's totally on you i can just give you uh whatever messages i get seventh is very important i was writing seven seven i was wondering what what is with seven is it lucky or is it what is with seven and suddenly realized that uh, though this reading is timeless but uh, this is july so july could be important month for you when they will change maybe you were expecting them to change maybe had, they had other uh, things they were busy with and they did not give you time so whatever the problem is not necessarily that you fought and you know you're not going to be back again if uh, they needed time time out because they had other things to address and they were not actually not deliberately giving you time but they could not make time for you but i feel a huge change in july and if i've written seventh after seven there might be a huge change you might see a change in them the way they approach you the way they care about you the same feelings uh, they put more effort and i really feel nice when i'm saying this so that's a great thing i think july is a great month and uh, last night also i did one reading i think love and money which i did post here and there was a lot of abundance coming and understanding and co-creating partnerships and i think that's going to be back again that's that's the kind of energy that i'm picking up so seventh it could be a month a date or you probably have had seven dates maybe you can count but something to do with seven seven days or probably you're going to meet around seven july or uh, you're going to meet them around this um, date i'm getting see i've written seven again so seven hours seven minutes and uh, love i wrote love july is a month for love for a lot of you i feel a lot of reconciliations i feel a lot of feelings coming back i also feel a lot of they're going to feel the same way they did with you so seven hours seven minutes or these are two different things not seven hours seven minutes that's why i put a slash there so either in seven hours you'll hear from them or in seven minutes you hear from them this is more for a call or a message if they're not been calling you or probably there's a there's a change i mean the way they message or probably what they write or even when when they call you and they talk to you you'll notice a slight change the way they're saying things probably the how they address you baby honey whatever you say to them uh, my muffin my cupcake whatever i really don't know <laughs> what do you say to each other but i definitely get july a lot of improvements in a lot of relationships guys remember i'm doing a gen reading there are a lot of you always say it's not that a lot of people write it didn't happen to me it's not happened it can't be with me i mean there is somebody who needed this and there are a lot of people who do actually get the uh, you know the message or the call when i say because i can give a time frame so if it works for you it's great destiny is putting you together if your relationship is not working you've tried everything it's toxic i would say just move on because a lot of times you hang on to the past and you do not let new energies come in and that's not your destiny really you know when something is not working when you've done everything everything means everything and the person is not coming back then i think it's time to move on that's what universe wants you to do see feelings will be back so definitely feelings are going to be back they're going to feel the same way again rekindle so most of the it's it's all the messages that i got from the spirit guides were somewhere you know when i get words or i get a paragraph or i get two lines i get a song uh like i said wait a minute i've been listening to it wait a minute is actually telling you wait a minute you wait uh you waited hours you waited days now wait a minute okay that's a message that i get 
two minutes, two days also important. So in two minutes, you might get a call message or probably two minutes, uh, they would call you. They might have said, okay, I'm calling you back or two days. They might be seeing you. You might be going on a date, but these are definitely important timelines, uh, which will tell you that they're coming back or the feeling for you are important. Um, the book we read, there's something about a book you read together, a paragraph or the missing that book, or you've given them a book to read, or there's a book that you bought together, but something to do with book, you know, probably they are uh, giving you one, uh, must be a signal or hint of a kind that the book we read, you know, or uh, you sign that book with love or whatever book they wanted, maybe a diary. I think I've written a diary also somewhere. I've forgotten that. So many messages, five and more. So you're going to get so many messages together, maybe five or more. Maybe they suddenly feel <laughs> romantic or like I said, like past is coming to them, you know, hitting them back because there's so many memories, fond memories you both have had. And probably because you're not pushing them, they're taking, the, you know, then they're, it's like going with the flow. And because you're not pushing them, they're trying to think about you. They, um, like they thought about you and not pushing themselves to think about you, but it's happened naturally. And uh, that's when they started missing you. This all the things, probably this read the book that you gave them or there's a diary that you had or they, your things are around the house, strewn around the house, I don't know. But definitely something uh, made them very nostalgic and they started missing you. Maybe that's what the time you get so many messages. I also get 13 minutes. I got a lot of time frame. So 13 minutes could be another way of seeing a call or a message or important or important change or 13 minutes. 13 is also 4, so you can look out for 4 number also. Slowly I will change. So remember these words. Slowly doesn't mean that you have to wait donkey years, okay? That doesn't mean you wait another 10 years for them. It it means that, yeah, it, it's not going to be overnight. You know, they get up and they're like, aha, I feel the same for you. It's going to be little by little. So even you have to keep that patience. And uh, I think they will change and I think they are trying hard to change is what I get. So remember the words slowly. You'll see, I'll keep all the promises. So that's what they say. So probably you, they promised you a lot and they fulfilled like not even half, one-tenth, two-thirds, I don't know, <laughs> the proportions or whatever. So uh, the equation. But uh, they were, they're saying that you'll see a change, you know, in them. And uh, they are uh, they are changing. They are doing this. I mean, it's kind of, I'm not going to say it's hard work for them, but they consciously know that they have to, you know, change. Otherwise, they're going to lose, lose you forever. I got some signs, probably this is you or your person is one of these signs. Remember, it's a general reading. It's not necessarily if you do not, if I've not written your sign here, the situation is not for you. These are just the ones that I thought. I got Cancer, I got Capricorn, I got Sag, Sagittarians, I got Leo and Pisces. You know, that those are the signs that I think probably will be feeling this or facing this. I got Eastern Europe, I got East, I got East India around, I don't know, hilly area, a lot of rain, what does it mean to you? Or Eastern Europe, maybe you belong, maybe you live there, maybe the person you are with uh, is from there. I got a lot of Eastern India, but I got a lot of direction, like East, probably where you stay is East. Maybe there's an East in your address, like, uh, okay, East Notting Hill. I just <laughs> made up an address, I don't know why Notting Hill, but East Notting Hill. Okay, so I'm getting the movie The Beach again and again. Maybe um, you could be a water sign dealing with the water sign, fire sign. Also get earth. There's air also. So <laughs> all the signs, either there, there is a song or the movie or the beach or you want to go to the beach. They were planning to go to the beach together. Or last time, last date was just, you know, at the beach, around the beach. Or uh, you're missing that or you think about that. Or probably they are missing this, the whole great time that you had around the beach. It could be somewhere tropical or so somewhere sunny. I'm changing for good so they're going to change it's not that going to change for a few days and they're going to you know be back again with the same way hot and cold and all the thing I'm going to change and they will change I'm feeling the way I used to feel for you okay so they're going to they are some of them are already in this transition you know this transformation has already ha uh, happened they are already feeling the way they used to feel for you and you seeing the changes already if these changes are already you seeing them so just uh, you know, be in the relationship, uh, see them make the effort, enjoy it, you know, because you've made all the effort. So just, uh, you know, enjoy when they're taking you out for a date or enjoy the changes in them. The, the, you, they're changing for better. I told you there was a diary. There's a diary involved or something. So as a gift, probably you write something or you're going to give them a diary where the memories are or pictures are. But definitely something true with the diary was coming to my mind. Okay, that's a blocked out one. I like using all the paper because I don't want to waste paper. I write both sides. Let's see what the messages are. This is a beautiful, beautiful oracle card set. It's called Sea Soul Journeys. So I just ordered two different ones and I've been using those for the readings. Let's see, what does the sea want to say to you? What messages? 
I'm going to do three of five. Let's see. Three of five. Three of five. Faith. Okay. Yes, you got it. Got to keep the faith. May trust. Uh, may trust steady your fears. You do not have to fear. Faith, faith, faith. I think that's beautiful. Have faith in the relationship. Have faith in the timing. Have faith in the universe. Have, have faith in the person you are with. And this is going to happen, guys. Let me remove this. If it's troubling you, have faith. How beautiful is that? And this also fell. Okay. Beauty. May you perceive nature's artistry afresh. I told you something about the beach. Though these cards are all uh, about beach. And it says, see the beauty afresh. Afresh is see the relationship, you know, in, in a new way. Do not keep digging out your past problems. That even when they come back, don't keep saying, okay, you did that, you did that, you wanted that, you said that, you did not do that. Um, I think keep it, uh, keep it a little fresh. Restart it wherever you can. And the moment, you know, what happens is when you start fighting, you uh, keep digging out the problems that happen. And that is of no use because you fight more than fluid. May you, may you shift and transform. See, may you shift and transform. The relationship is fluid right now. It's undergoing a transformation. And that's what the person you are with is, is you know, feeling this. And you will be feeling this because there is definitely transformation happening. And uh, there's fluidity. And definitely because there's transformation. I told you there's transformation and the word transformation has come out joy may you pursue what lights you up so imagine the words guys may you pursue what lights you up this you really feel great when you are with this person so just keep pursuing this whole thing i think it's just wait a minute is actually very important hold on a minute and believe in it and they are changing and you noticing the change or you will notice the change very soon and uh, this is a great great thing that they are you know going to feel the same you're on the right path and this person gives you joy so just pursue that you know because it's going to bring you more joy very soon powerful may you be uh, as potent as the ocean so yes may your relationship be as powerful maybe you may you get all the power to be patient i think is the um, message that i get i want to do two more cards and that will make it seven because seven was the number that i got too much depth may you immerse and go deeper so yes may your relationship connection be much deeper much stronger much better and more powerful this seems like a beautiful connection that's back on its course that's going to be back on its uh, course uh, you know soon that's what i get the last message let's see gratitude may you honor all that you receive so please honor whatever you get even if it's a small gesture from their side uh, also tell them that it's happy you're happy seeing them change and it's beautiful and they love the way they're changing or making an effort uh, that will make them feel very nice and always show gratitude because the universe is bringing back to them your patience is bringing back to them their feelings are coming back and it's working very well in everybody's favor is what i get so thanks so much and i'll be back again with another reading till that time enjoy this reading <laughs> do like share and comment and do subscribe like i always say i, I love doing these readings for you and i think these make a lot of uh, sense because that's the time you need this message soon i'll also do next 48 hours and seven uh, next seven days but i've seen people enjoy this like current and exact words and all that more where the channel messages are there you know along with the cards so let me know what kind of re readings you enjoy and also comment what really is this your situation. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye.